G'day gamers, Gob here. Welcome back to Gob's Quickies. Today's an exciting day. Yes, it is. It's snapshot day and we have 20W48A for the 1.17 Caves and Cliffs update. And this snapshot is only a little, but it's a goodie. There's some awesome, awesome things in it. I'm very excited. Uh, but before we get started, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please chuck me a sub. Just just go and hit the subscribe button now, and uh, you two can keep up with all the snapshots as they come out and all my other content. Right, let's go. Have a squiz. Now, in this snapshot, we have some new blocks. Yes, we do. We've got these um, dripstone uh, blocks, the ones over here, dripstone blocks. And we have pointed dripstone that will make our stalagmites and stalactites. Okay, so there's our pointed dripstone. Okay, so two new blocks. That one can be either way around. Okay, dripstone blocks and pointed dripstone. Very very exciting and uh, we'll get on to those in a minute now a few technical changes in the snapshot okay textures have changed for our uh, candles they've changed for our compasses our clocks and amethyst okay just a little bit shinier and, and a little bit nicer looking now candles can only now be placed on solid blocks but but I've discovered something that's not quite right. Okay, if you can only place them on solid blocks, look, they st they float, they float, and uh, I don't think that should happen. Okay, but m anyway, it, uh, it never happened. You never saw it here. There you go. Uh, they've also added new functionality for bundles, and they fixed an error with the powdered snow. Where in the last snapshot. Uh, you still took damage when you're wearing your leather armor, and you shouldn't have. And now, if you wear your leather armor and you're in the powdered snow, you're safe as houses. Right, so what have they done with bundles? Okay, now with bundles, what they've done is you will see as you hover over your bundle, you have a fullness um, thing if you've got your tool tips on. Okay, so 0 out of 64 bats and empty bundle and each bundle will take up to a stack of items 64 um a full stack whether it be a 64 item or a 16 item or a uh, a solo item um, they all represent up to 64 slots so if i put my stack of wood in my bundle it's now got a fullness of 64 out of 64 it is a full um, bundle and if i right click my bundle, when I've got it in my hand, it empties it. But the really big, exciting thing in this one is the dripstone itself. And look! Look what I found! Now, in this snapshot, they don't occur naturally, okay? You can only get them in creative mode and create them. You won't go finding them in the world if you're wandering around in survival, okay? But I've made this, and this is sort of... Gob's impression of how they might look, okay? So we've got our dripstone blocks on the floor. We've got our pointed dripstone here forming the stalagmites on the ground because they might get to the roof. And we've got our stalactites here on the roof and they're holding on tight so they don't fall, okay? Now, if you remember from the, uh, the previews, um, stalagmites and stalactites, if you jump and land on a stalag... Uh, might you'll take damage and if you are standing under a stalactite when it falls you'll get damage and that is the case here and we'll just test that out let's go for a jump and we'll jump ow that hurt ow so landing on the stalagmites gave me damage Okay, and let's stand underneath this stalactite. Now, this is something else that's been added to the game. You can knock uh, stalactites down with a trident. So, we'll just hop underneath it and boom. Oh! And run under it. Oh, I took damage. There we go. So, stalagmites, stalactites. And don't you love the way these two have joined up? Okay, that's how you actually would see it in real life. Now, see that dripping? That dripping their stellig uh, tights will naturally drip water and that's what we're going to go and talk about next so step into my 
laboratory. And this is Gob's laboratory, okay? We'll just come over here. And what we're going to look at here is that dripping function, okay? And I've got some water dripping down off this stalactite, and it's dripping into a cauldron, okay? So the, uh, the game notes from Mo Yang say that the water will eventually fill up our cauldron, okay? Haven't been here long enough, but it, it allegedly will do it. I'm really excited at that, okay? I reckon that has potential for some game modes where you've only got maybe one water source. You can chuck it above your stalactite and fill up a, uh, a cauldron to get a second water source, and there you go. You'll have the ability to make an infinite water source. Mind you, that already is one. But this is the more exciting test. Okay, test number two. And I'll show you what's here. Look at that. That is lava. Okay, and the lava will drip down from our stalactite. Okay, wait for a drip. Wait for a drip. Come on. Drip. Drip. I'm waiting. And there it comes. Drip. Okay, so the game notes say that with this new snapshot and hopefully in the functionality of 117, lava will go down, your stalactite will drip down into a cauldron and you will have a renewable source of lava. Wow, that is absolutely awesome and it's so exciting and it has great, great application. I'm thinking maybe if you want to do big builds in the end and you want to go a long ways out and you want to have a, uh, a source of lava to build uh, maybe cobblestone generators or make obsidian or, or things like that, you can take your own supply with you and replenish it. That is super exciting. Oh, I think I just destroyed a painting. So there you go. Those are the features in the new 20W48A snapshot for the 117 update to Minecraft. It's all so exciting. Just remember, these uh, dripstone um, uh, can't be found naturally in the snapshot yet. You can only get it on Creative, so don't expect to go finding it in a survival world if you try the snapshot out. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my Patreon side for all the benefits that you can get as a patron. Chuck me a comment. You know, what's your most favourite thing about uh, the snapshots so far? And I personally love the bundles. I think they're a great functionality. But I'm excited to see the opportunities that the dripstone are going to give us. Um, that's all i got time for today. Until next time, hooroo!